it's very evident to me there's, uh, and it gets to that um, scientism and, and the word you use, which I'm going to borrow from now on is, is safetyism. And the idea that you can sort of um, engineer out of humanity things that, that put, us, put us at risk and, and taken to its absurdity, um, it, it gets super creepy super quick. There's, I don't know if you've thought about this in the context of uh, COVID lockdowns, and I have no idea what you think about any of this stuff, but when the, the governor of California, and, and you're in California right now, are you not? Yeah. Um, he, he said, and I, I like to go to concerts, and I, f- I find something s- uh, very old school about live music and, and the sense of community you get at a concert, and, and he was talking specifically how there would be no live concerts until they got, and I don't think I'm misquoting him, to zero deaths. And I, I thought about the absurdity of, of ever getting to a, and he was talking about zero COVID deaths, but um, the, the implication being that we're, we're not going to allow people to gather again until it's absolutely 100% guaranteed that no one's ever going to get hurt, no one's ever going to do the wrong thing, no one's ever going to get sick. And I thought, that's just crazy. Yeah, there seems to be no um, sort of awareness of how damaging to the social fabric this isolation is. And we're already so atomized. Um, And it's interesting, Hannah Arendt pointed to social atomization as one of the key prerequisites for totalitarianism. When people are are isolated, um, it seems to make them more susceptible to the, a kind of social control that, yeah. um, you know, and, and clearly I think this episode of the lockdowns has whetted the appetite of our elites for social control. And you see, especially early on in the pandemic, looking to China as a kind of role model of how to handle this, there seems to be this blossoming romance between our own um, governing elites and and China as a model. And uh, yeah, pretty disturbing. Yeah, fascinating that, um, um, first of all, that we would take their data seriously because there's, there's no reason to believe that anything that the authoritarian Chinese government is telling us is true, but um, to sort of openly admire the, the, the same infrastructure that leads to a social credit system where the government absolutely controls your behavior. Um, are you a good citizen? Well, we'll give you access to your bank account if you're a bad citizen. And that to me seems fundamentally anti-individualistic, but just un-American like why are we accepting that sort of infrastructure? Mm-hmm.